Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Swiss Dota 2 International Championships. International National Championships. My name is Morality Claus and I will be your caster for this game with Swiss Incredible Rebels versus Rhino Gaming. This is round two of the tournament. The team who wins this will advance to the semi-finals tomorrow, which will also be a best of three. For the chance to play against my insanity in the offline finals on the 28th of June. So let's get right down to business um some pretty standard bands coming out here we've got a storm spirit and a queen of pain band on sir side queen of pain being an incredibly strong um well let's just say say incredibly strong hero in these last few days meanwhile storm spirit of course complementing the mid lane really well i mean Remove the, they're removing the mid lane from the equation. Problem is Rhino Gaming picked up the Leshrak, which can be played on the mid lane pretty well. He can also be played as a carry, but we will see how they will lane this. I mean, after all, they could play Leshrak mid lane, they could play Leshrak safe lane. You never know. Witch Doctor also picked up by Rhino Gaming, very solid support. Um, there's nothing much to say about him really. His cask, if you can get some good guard, uh, you can get some good bounces. It basically means you have a pretty successful chance of completing a good gank. Morphling and Silencer are some pretty interesting combos. Morphling, I haven't seen too often in pro games, mainly because he's such a niche character at the moment. His main requirement isn't to carry these days, but mainly to get off that four to five second stun. Um, I believe it is actually maximum 5 seconds of stun that you can get off. No, it's 4.25. Well then, that 4.25 second stun basically with Adaptive Strike. Get a level morph, get Adaptive Strike, get Waveform. You can obvious, obviously build him like a support, you don't build him like a carry anymore. And it works, I mean 4.25 seconds of stun is something that uh, hurts a lot. It means that you need some damage dealers though and silencer maybe could be the option but the thing is you usually want him as a support and not as a damage dealer he obviously can transition into a damage dealer during the late game but uh, for the most part it's not the best carry in the world considering as well that they have a leshrak and a witch doctor who just really don't care about silencer i mean witch doctor if he plays his cards right doesn't have to care because silencer won't Will not target him as frequently, and Leshrac can just purge most of uh, Silence of Spells off, actually. Especially with a spammable Lightning Bolt, he can Earth Split, and if he really wants to, he can Pulse Nova. Earthshaker is banned out by Rona Gaming, a solid support, a good ban as well. Um, what intrigues me is Bristleback, banned by Swiss Incredible Rebels. Uh, Swiss, if you really want the real name. Now, this Bristleback, uh, Pick. I'm unsure, it's probably just because Bristleback has been flavor of the month. But to be honest, it's not the most standard of bands, especially the Spirit Breaker as well. The Spirit Breaker has been flavor of the most of the of the last three months. He's been picked up a lot by pro teams because they've seen how much potential he can have. We saw in the last game that a Spirit Breaker going ham is unstoppable. Now, Jakiro is picked up by Rhino Gaming, my fellow co-caster who is unfortunately unable to join me today. Madness really likes this hero. He's versatile, he's a very good pusher, he's a very good... He's, he's got a very strong presence, let's just put it that way. He can zone people very well and he deals a lot of damage over time. However, Ice Path is an unreliable stun, requires a bit of setup. Considering that Leshrac, uh, maybe with the Witch Doctor Cask... They have a lot of stuns, Rhino Gaming does. They have a Leshrac Earth Split, Witch Doctor Cask, and Shakiro Ice Pub. They're not the easiest stuns to hit. They're not like Lion or Nyx Assassin, uh, which which can definitely which can just normally instant insta stun without much problem. You need to some kind of setup for Leshrac because this uh, animation time is so long. Luckily, if they can get off a good cask ice path into Earth Splitter, they can keep someone perma stun. Same thing though, Swiss Incredible Rebels have picked up Morphling and Skyroth. So I'm thinking the Silencer is going to actually be a more of a core Silencer. Morphling and Skyroth will roam around, use the ult on the stunned Morphling targets. The thing is, is that this combo requires <clears throat> those both heroes to be roaming around. It's a good combo, but Skyroth is very squishy, so they have to watch out. They have to be careful with this combo. 
Morphling as well. I mean, he is leveling stunned, so that does mean he will have a lot of strength morphed up. But yeah. That should be good. They Rhino pick up a Beastmaster, which is uh, definitely a good pick. He's a good off laner. He's very versatile. The Roar is BKB piercing stun. Real nice. Axes aren't the best skills in the world, but you know what is? It's Hawk and the Boar. Boar can just keep absolute lane control, and the slow on the Boar is amazing. Uh, Hawk is very good for vision. They can... Just being able to see 1,600 during the day and 1,000 during the night is amazing. Ten seconds to go. Of course, if Sir play it correctly, play their cards correctly, the boss shouldn't be too much of a problem. Considering they have a Skyrath Mage, um, although if, if it's going to be, I don't think they're going to go safe lane. They might go safe lane, but I don't think they will. Hmm, they might actually. Or Sir could play dual lanes. In fact, Rhino definitely want to do something with a tri lane. Yep. Yeah. They definitely want, like, um... They definitely want to, because they want to keep the Beastmaster solo lane. They want to make sure he can level up the uh, the Call of the Wild and get the Roar as early as possible. They definitely, and I mean, this this is just a good tri lane setup in general. It's 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 a very potent combo. In fact, they might have as well... No, they won't go aggressive, because they need to give Beastmaster a solo lane. Uh, but... Um... Yeah, this combo is very aggressive. They have a lot of kill potential if they just take these three with them. It's going to be interesting to see how they play this out. Now, Sir, of course. Um, now, I know a few people from Sir, and to be honest, their skill level is questionable, but what I've seen is that they've that the strats they pick are usually pretty solid. Now, they're 20 seconds away from finishing their reserve time. Having to think about the next hero they're going to pick, what they need now is either a carry or a, I'm, I'm pretty sure the silence is going to be cool as you don't want to put a support morphling onto the... Yeah, well, this is interesting. They have a huge amount of supports. Now, if I'm thinking this is correctly, the silence is going to be a core silencer. We're going to have morphling on the off lane most likely and the Skyrim... No, they're not going to be roaming. They're not going to be together until they're both level 6, so that doesn't really matter. They're going to have morphling on the off lane, Skyrim Mage and Lion supporting whoever's going to be carrying because I'm not seeing the mid lane. Um, a silencer can either go mid or carry here. It can either be a core silencer or a carry silencer. And I don't think banning the Tidehunter was the best of decisions by Rhino Gaming. Um, the final ban for Swiss Incredible Rebels will probably have to be a hard carry here. I have static noise. Ten seconds to go. Ah yes. Um. Uh yes, my co-caster is actually telling me I have static noise. Um. That is probably because. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Really interesting. Okay, I will check that later. Actually, but for now, I cannot do much. The final ban will be a lichen. Interesting, uh, they're probably anticipating the push, and that does make sense from Drakiro and Leshrac, so pretty good ban there. Uh, Rhino pick up a Razor, though, which can also be used to push effectively. He's not the best push in the world, of course, but you know what? They need someone who can carry. They need someone with a bit of umph, and so the Razor will be picked up for that role. Most likely. I don't think... They might They might actually just go call... Nah, the Razor's probably going to go, hmm. Ten seconds. I'm... I mean, they could really do anything. They could go Razor safe lane, they could go Leshrac safe lane, but most likely it's going to be a Leshrac safe lane, since the kill potential on that lane is amazing. If they can just get a very small stun off, then it's over. And Swiss Incredible Rolls pick up an Alchemist as their hard carry. Interesting pickup, but he's been Flavor of the Month, and he will. <laughs> Let's see if he can uh, do the 1000 GPM strat, but of course, like I said in the last game, it's not about the money, it's about the freaking win. You want to win, you don't want to get as much money as possible. Of course, getting as much money as possible may result in a win, but you want the rest of your team doing well as well, don't you? So, we'll see how this works out. Now, speaking of lanes, team with the stronger lanes, I'm going to say Rhino here. Team with the stronger late game is obviously Swiss Incredible Rebels. 
Um, that's just obvious from the Alchemist and the Morphling. I mean, the Morphling can transition over from a support role, which I'm anticipating him to be. Ten seconds to go. Uh, so, my guess is it's going to be Swiss Incredible Rebel late game, but Rhino Gaming have a very, very potent early and mid game. Anyway, yes, to my static noise, I believe that is because I just don't have a mic stand yet. Um, that is all. It's probably my computer. And a pop filter. Anyway. Good luck, have funds coming up from Rhino, which I will present first. So, on the Witch Doctor, we have MTC. On the Jakira, we have Hacksaw. On on the Leshrac, we have Arkosh. On the Beastmaster, we have Fimo. And last but not least, on the Razor, we have Don't You Know I'm Loco, which I'm going to call Loco from now on. Alright. And... Right, on Sir's side, we have Innocent playing the Alchemist, Virfil playing Silencer, Cactus playing Lion, Ermi Online playing the Skywrath Mage, and last but not least, L playing Morphling. Right, so interesting engagements going on already on the top. That's an interesting boar. It's not really a boar. It's more of a wolf hybrid thing. Now... Hmm, the thing is, who will get the runes? Rhino really wants these runes. Rhino really wants both runes. L can really easily get this rune, though. L, if he really wants to, can get this rune really easily. But he will leave it alone, actually. And Rhino will get both runes. That is... An interesting play. L could have easily gotten the rune and waveformed out. Didn't even have to take that much damage. Both runes will go towards Rhino Gaming, which is uh, less than optimal for Sir. As it increased the win rate by 70%. So, we'll have a look. Let me bring up the last hits. And let me switch over to my dedicated HUD. So, anyway. First rune, the first ward's placed down by Rhino. This one does give a pretty nice amount of jungle vision. Uh, Ermi Online already looking like he's in a bit of a trouble. Uh, MTC and Haxor will start chasing him down, but... That's okay, and yes, they actually are doing an aggressive tri lane top. I thought they might. It was in my head, but uh, it's a weird lane. Ah, but it does give the Beastmaster a nice solo lane here, bot. Where he's versus a Morphling, so it's more optimal for him. Good decision making there. And yes, it will be a Razor mid, but uh, Razor mid loses out to Silencer, who has actually taken Glaives of Wisdom first instead of Cots. To be honest, I would have taken Cots first. Even if he does, he has to get close enough to Static Link, just run towards back towards the tower, he has to use his Q, it's a win-win for you anyway. Of course you can do damage, but uh, he's taking last one instead. Interesting. Well, last hits aren't looking good for the Alchemist at all, in fact the Leshrac is overtaking him and denies and last hits. No lane equilibrium being held here. Cactus, in fact, they're just gonna, they're gonna do the 1000 GPM strat and start stacking the jungle. It's an interesting move, um, especially if they figure it out. Especially if uh, Rhino do figure it out, that's going to be that's going to backfire on them. And yes, Fimo could just keep lane control with this boar here. He, he he doesn't have to do much, and L is going to be in a bit of trouble, considering he's Fimo is going to suit keeper build. He now has two boars, which means he can just completely harass the Morphling. The rune control also going completely towards. Um, Rhino, the rotations from Sir just were too late. In fact, Rhino is a loco is going straight in on Verfa right now, and he can. He's probably going to get first blood here, and there you go. Yes, Rhino will be able. Loco will be able to take first blood. Has his bottle. Where my Verfa is still trying to farm himself towards it. Good kill there. Good opportunity there using the haste rune effectively. And L is not having the best of times on the bot lane. It's 13-5 versus 6-0. Um, Twice as many last hits. L will not be able to have the best of times down here. He's also not really keeping the lane equilibrium here. Um, as well as on the mid, uh, as well as on the top lane, there's no lane equilibrium being helped by Sir. They're just completely losing up here. It's an aggressive try. You can understand that, but uh, not the best aggressive try in the world. And if you catch one of them out, then it's easy 
easy to reach. Oh, there you go. They were about to attempt it. Just paralyzing Karski into Ice Path. Get the Lesh Rack on the backup. It's pretty good. Ermi online rotating mid to make sure that Loco stays away from the Silencer. And he will take a full cut, Cots um, there. But you know what? He has a stick. He doesn't have to care. Uh, in fact, Rofa looks like he's in a bit of trouble. But no, Umi's there to help. And Umi might be able to get a kill on Loco here. What is going on? No, there you go. That should be the kill. There it was. Good rotation by Umi managing to secure a kill on the Razor. So it's one for one in the mid lane, but Razor has taken first blood, so it's better for him. Leshrak is doing completely fine on this aggressive tri lane, which is not something you want. You want to punish them for going on the aggressive tri lane, not you know, you not you know have this, but you know punishing them does involve walking up to this uh, aggressive stun combo here. Thing is, though, it's all single target. You walk in there uh, correctly. And you dodge the AoEs, which isn't that hard to do, and you've basically won. There's nothing really MTC. I mean, right now, the only thing that can really stop you is Paralyzing Cask. So keeping keeping MTC stun locked should be able to be enough, really. In fact, the fact that they're pushed up so hard in here does, should should demonstrate that. Uh, so should be able to seize an opportunity, but, you know, it's an aggressive trial, and you've got to watch out. And Fimo is just having the time of his life. He's already level 6 after 4 minutes. What, leaving L in the dust. He won't be able to kill L though for obvious reasons. Um, L is a morphling after all. There you go. There's that huge stun. And that's only level 3. Just wait until it reaches level 4. In fact, Razor just killed Silent Town. He's diving deep. Has his ult already as well. Uh, Silent is only level 5. Razor's level 6. There's not much uh, Silent could do in this situation. So, yeah. Pretty interesting. Now, Sir Omi Online is, has to zap XP, but he's only level 3. Razor will be able to eat him up for breakfast if he walks anywhere close to that. I'm just I'm just Fimo. Fimo is impressive. He's, he's, he's gone in the tile lane for himself. In fact, he's probably going... He's building up Blink Dagger. He's going to have it finished before 10 minutes. Oh, L looks like he wants to go in on this, but no. In fact, the top tower from Dyer will fall soon. No Diabolic Edict, but it's the immense push that they have already from Hacksaw and Ayakosh. Innocent is in a bit of a pickle here. If he gets found out, he's dead. He's going towards a Midas, but uh, it's not happening. Good mists. Earth Split is missed. Uh, ooh, he could have stayed there. Could have gotten the Courier. In fact, Akosh will now try and go after Innocent. Nice missed, uh, nice dodge on the stun, but it's going to be a body block. Keeping, M letting MTC have the chance to... Uh, oh, stun gets off. Akosh could be in a bit of trouble here as his entire mana is zapped out. And now, Sir is on the offensive, but they decide to back off instead. Does Silent have level 6 yet? No, they're letting Razor free farm mid. Uh, he's level 7. He, already fi he almost finished off his buckler. He's going to get a very fast mech. Fimo's top on last hits. This is also Blink Dagger's about to go up for him. Uh, L has only level six. Uh, Ice Path was used top, but uh, lead led to no effect. No Midas for Innocent within a standard Alchemist timing, just because their lanes completely fell apart here. Razor is waiting, waiting for the opportunity to capture L, but L recognizes this and walks away. This is going to be another easy tower for them, probably. Two heroes mid. They rotated their entire team top and were unable to do anything. Now Innocent seems to be in a bit of trouble. No ult for him yet. Earth Split is there. It hits and it's probably going to mean a dead Innocent. It is a dead Innocent. Uh, Loco is silenced, but he doesn't care. He has a bottle. He's actually almost finished up his mech, which is an incredibly fast mech. Thymo is about, already has his blink dagger. This is going to be some very scary stuff coming out from Rhino. What did, what has Sir got to offer in return? And to be honest, nothing much really. They have a silencer with nothing. They have a Skyroth mage with pretty much nothing. They have a morphling with something, but uh, the lion also really doesn't need much. He needs boots, he needs maybe some tranks and that's it, but he doesn't even have boots yet. And the Alchemist is trying to build up towards a Midas, but that's not going to happen. 
Level 7 is the offlaner. The offlane is the max level. What the heck? And Burful once again just gets zapped by Loco and he can't do anything against it. The ping top, they want to, they want to try and uh, gank Akosh or MTC, but to be honest, they should have ganked Fimo. Now Fimo has a haste rune. Burful has to back off if he wants to survive this. Fimo's just going to blink in. Nice, nice silence. Good game sense there. L will actually blink in. Uh, will actually teleport in. In fact, Ermi's going to get found out and he's going to die first. L is now has to waveform out. Uh, TP reactions coming in from uh, Cactus. And now they want to go in the offensive on Loco. There's the four second stun hitting Loco. Will they be able to make something out of this? No, in fact, Loco is just going to start turning around on them. They hex him up, but is he going to. Are they able to kill him? Nice. Another stun onto Loco. The four second stun's doing much. And there you go. L gets the kill. Will they kill the ball? Oh, Verfel! No. Beastmaster managing to get a good kill on Verfel. Stun on Beastmaster, but that's not going to help anything right now. Now, top lane. Does Innocent have his level 6? No, he does not. Does Ermi have his level 5 or 6? No, he does not. This is not an, a fight you want to take. This is definitely not a fight you want to take. Innocent now has level 6. Okay, so now he can... Nah, nice, nice initiation there. They if, even if oh, this is going to be deadly. Good, ca could, could cask bounces going on here, but it's only a level three cask, so it's not going to help much. Uh, NTC gets um, gets slowed. Do they have the line and the toe? No, they do not. Jakiro is in the back lines there. Good earth split there by by Akosh. In fact, it's going to stun Innocent instead. Ooh, and now Haxa could be in a bit of trouble. He gets stunned up, and this is going to be an easy kill for Innocent. They might even they actually kill the Hawk as well as a side effect. Ah, but they've lost towers everywhere. They haven't taken one single tower for themselves. So that... FIMO already has 2,000 gold again. I'm going to just look at net worth quickly. And yep, FIMO is leading in net worth. Alchemist is way behind. He's finally got his Midas though, so that's pretty good. And the boars are annoying. You need to get rid of the boars. In fact, Alchemist is going to start taking the stacks. And that's going to be pretty easy stacks for them. The boar will scout it out though. Uh, will they be able to kill a boar off before he gets too annoying? Stun on Fimo, who probably wanted to blink in there. They've got a replicate on him, so they know where he is. Just a full protect one right now. Kill, make sure the alchemist stays safe. His ult won't be apt, though, for quite a while, so... Um, yeah. In fact, the boar seems to be harassing him pretty heavily, and now they just took bot again. Their boar is dead. Did they have mana boots anywhere to heal up the elk? Yeah, now he's got his ult back. In fact, they're going to lose a tier 2 as well, if they don't watch out. There's a Diabolic PD at this level, but he's not using it. Axor, yeah, everyone, everyone's down here other than Fimo, who doesn't need to help push. This is going to be an easy tier 2 for them. There's no one to contest. It's not something you want happening, especially 11 minutes into the game. Good deny, but uh, it's bad. And now Umi on 9 might actually take a fall for this. He does. Jackie Roll getting the kill. Innocent, meanwhile, is not doing so well. He's 3,000 up thanks to those jungle stacks, but uh, hasn't actually taken this stack here yet. And now will they start taking a tier 3? What are you doing, sir? You can't let them take a tier 3. That's suicidal. Fermo, in fact, is pushing up the tier 2 bot mid. What is going on? No actual team fighting coming out. They're letting Fimo have complete reign of this entire situation. Curse of Silence is on Loco, but that's not going to hurt him much. He has a mech as well, so they have the burst heal if they absolutely need it. Uh, Loco now tries to steal some damage, only getting 14. Yeah, here we go. There's there's a few spells coming out. Global Silence is out. They want to take this fight. Nice waveform into everyone. Fimo is there, though. The good line kill. The Witch Doctor is dead. Fimo is going to be the next one to fall, most likely. Or will it be Innocent? No, Innocent does not die. Fimo does... Is the next one to fall. They want to get Verful now, but L will be blocking the well. No, Verful actually goes down along with Umi online. Innocent has to back off. Merely dodging. What is Cactus doing? Nice stun on Loco, but this might actually kill him. Leshrak kills Cactus. 
Good stun onto Loco, but will that bring anything right now? That fight was well and truly lost for them. 400 gold swing for Sir, actually. It's pretty good. I was expecting a bit more, but since, since they've been farming so hard, Rhino have. 7,500 for Rhino. It's not... It's it's salvageable, but only just. Good stun onto Haxo, and Innocent's just walking in here. They want to get Akosh, or they want to get Rhino? Akosh is stunned, and it looks like they might actually get Akosh first. Haxo will be the next one to fall. Yes, he will. And now Loco is, is, is starting to steal damage, but you know what? Alchemist just says, I'm going to walk away. MTC will be the next one to fall, most likely. Yes, Waveform killing him off. Fimo's there. Does Fimo have raw? He does, but it's not going to be used. Yes, it will be used on Innocent, and he's going to actually stun himself. Loco's trying to get away, and he will, because he's a Razor. Very good. Very good for turnaround from Sir, which is going to give them an instant 1,500 lead. That's a 2,000 gold swing, and it's going to make the situation a lot more salvageable. It's going down to 2,500. And it's what they sorely need. They need to kill the Razor more. They need to kill Akosh more. Akosh has no health right now. But he's got money, and that's a problem. The Guardian Greaves are almost up on Razor. This is going to be very problematic. He's got boots. Fimo has boots of travel. They can split push. They can start split pushing pretty soon. If we can have a look at this lane, at the items they have. Morphling is trying to get Ring of Health, and Soul Ring suggests he's going for Lincolns. Innocent has his Midas, and he's probably going to be farming up towards his next core item, which is usually what you want the Maelstrom, I believe. Maelstrom into BKB, most likely. Maelstrom, Mjolnir into BKB. It doesn't matter. Verfl actually might go down here. Will he be able to get off Global Science before he dies? He actually doesn't want to use Global Science. He does! Innocent, will he die? Innocent taking a lot of damage. Fimo wanting to get Cactus, but decides to back off. And for now, only the Lashrak is dead. L is a bit deep. He manages to get a stun off, and there's a cast bounce going on. Good cast bounces. Lot of damage. Sir is almost dead. Verfl will, in fact, go down. Buyback from L. They're going to take Rax. Are they going to take Rax is the question. L start, stuns up MTZ. Replicates are out. Buybacks are being used. It's an early game buyback, but who cares? They're right now at the Rax. You want to use this opportunity. Haxor is stunned up. Good, good hit, but only Loco does not die. Haxor, will he fall? Haxor will most likely fall. Haxor falls. Good fight from Sir once again, although they did lose two and had to use two backpacks for two, so unfortunately the gold swing is not in their favour. As you can see this peak here, not very good. XP as well going back down, and there's the Guardian's Greaves being activated. They know they should go in right now. Guardian's Greaves should run out pretty soon. Now Virfil is in a bit deep. He doesn't have Global Silence. This is probably a dead Virfil. Virfil was in way too deep, and they're going to take the melee Rex. In fact, this looks like this is the very start situation for Sir. Doesn't look like they can salvage this anymore. It's up to 10,000, that magical border where you can say, Oh crap, the match has probably been lost from now on. Vitality boost and point booster. Yeah, Akosh has about finished his bloodstone. Only, only it's like 1,000 gold. Razor is going point booster, so he's going to get himself something pretty nice. That could be anything. It could be an Ags... Most likely is an Ags, considering they're going full push here. Or it could be a Scaddy, in fact. But uh, with a Scaddy, you usually get the... Um, usually get the uh, ultimate all first. And here we go. They're going to take the last tier 2 on the map for Sir. Mechanism has been used more like the, Gu more like the Guardian Creeps. No Yules is up yet, but you know what? That's not really necessary. Stun onto Loco, but uh, not going to make much of it. And now Sura defending in the base. Here we go. Loco is first to initiate with the with the uh, plasma field. Fimo is in a bit deep, and Loco is taking a lot of tower damage. Base defense from Sir is it good? And to be honest, I'm not quite sure. They don't have too many good wave clears, and the fact is they're always walking into Loco's plasma fields. It's kind of embarrassing, actually. Another stun up onto... Oh, nice arcane missiles. Mystic Flare is used, unfortunately. That means it's not going to be available for the next fight, which I expect will happen pretty soon. The push is there from Rhino. Just look. The, the, sir, is all half health. Innocent's going to fall here. And, in fact, they get a long-range kill onto the Skyrath. This is not good. 
Loco is just starting to just chase people down. Here's the stuns coming out. GG, well played coming out from Innocent. And there you go, game one. Actually, more like game two since it definitely was averted for Sir due to Rhino not turning up on time. Going to Sir. Uh, going to Rhino. Game two. Going to Rhino. So we will, in fact, have a full best of three, even though the one never happened. Um, yeah. All played from both. Sir just getting completely stomped over. They looked like they were going to come back, but Rhino showing what they could do. We will be back for game three, two, three, depending on how you look at it, in a few minutes. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen.